Hello everyone. Welcome to Finite Element Methods tutorial. I am Virakesh, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department. In this session, I am going to explain one problem on finite element for heat flow problems. Uh, let us see the problem. Consider a brick wall of thickness 0.3 meters, thermal conductivity 0.7 watt per meter Kelvin. The inner surface is at 28 degrees and the outer surface is exposed to cold air at minus 15 degrees centigrade. The heat transfer coefficient associated with the outer uh, outside surface is 40 watt per meter square Kelvin. Determine the steady, steady state temperature distribution within wall and also the heat flux through the wall. Let us see this figure. Uh, the given the this composite wall is described into two elements. This is the element one and element two. Uh, the given uh, brick wall is 0 0.3 meters. So I divide into two parts. That is one is 0 0.15 meters. Second one is 0 0.15 meters. This is the L1. This is the L2. Also draw the free body diagram for the given problem. Uh, it having two elements. This is the one first element. This is the second element. Each element having two nodes. This is the first node. This is the second node. Element two having node number two and node number three. Uh, these nodes indicate the nodal temperatures T1. This is the T2. This is the T3. Uh, in the given question, inner surface temperature is given that is T0 equal 28 degrees centigrade. That means T1 equal to 28 degrees centigrade. And uh, ambient temperature is also given that is minus 15 degrees centigrade. Uh, thermal conductivity also given that is 0 0.7 watt per meter Kelvin. Uh, the uh, this value is same for uh, element 1 and element 2 that is k1 equal to k2 equal 0 0.7 watt per meter square meter kelvin let uh, t1 t2 t3 are the temperatures at node 1 node 2 node 3 uh, t1 equal to uh, 28 degrees you can co convert this degree centigrade into kelvin that means 28 plus 273 that equal to 301 Kelvin. Similarly, T infinity equal to minus 15 degree centigrade that equal to minus 15 plus 273 equal to 258 Kelvin. Now consider element 1. Element 1 have uh, element 1 between node 1 and node 2. Since in element 1, uh, see this figure. Since the element 1 is uh, conduction is alone taking place, the conduction part of the thermal stiffness matrix is calculated as that is k equal to uh, k1 a1 by l1 into matrix 1 minus 1 minus 1 1. In this, in the problem, area is not given. So, assuming for unit area of cross section that is a1 equal to 1 meter square, we get uh, k1 by l1 into 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 now substitute the values here k1 means thermal conductivity for element 1 that is 0 0.7 watt per meter kelvin uh, length 0 0.15 meters matrix 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 nodes are 1 2 1 2 uh, now simplify this term uh, we get 4.67 into matrix 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 nodes 1 2 1 2 now multiply with this uh, this term with matrix we get 4.67 minus 4.67 minus 4.67 plus 4.67 nodes 1 2 nodes 1 and 2 uh, Similarly, you can calculate the stiffness matrix for element 2. Uh, now consider element 2. Uh, this element 2 lies in between node 2 and node 3. Uh, see this figure. Uh, 
uh, in L man two, this is the L man two uh, conduction. Uh, conduction as well as convection take place. The the thermal stiffness matrix for element two must consist of conduction and convection parts. So you can calculate uh, for element two. Uh, you can calculate conduction and convection for element two. Uh, now uh, now we calculate conduction part of thermal stiffness matrix that is. K suffix K equal to K two A two by L two matrix one minus one minus one one. Uh, now assuming area equal to one meter square, that is K two by L two into one minus one minus one one. Now substitute the values here, that is K two means zero point seven watt per meter Kelvin, length zero point one five meter, matrix one minus one minus one one. Now simplify this term. That is, we get 4.67. Uh, now multiply this term with this matrix. 4.67 minus 4.67 minus 4.67 plus 4.67. Now it's 2, 3, 2, 3. Uh, now uh, the convection part of the thermal stiffness matrix. We know the formula for convection part. That is, K suffix H equal to H A. Matrix zero 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 one. Uh, uh, here also you can assume assuming A equal to one meter square. Uh, we know the value that is H is heat transfer. Uh, heat transfer is heat transfer coefficient H equal to forty watt per meter square Kelvin into matrix zero 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 one. Now multiply this forty with this matrix, we get zero 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 forty. Now Combined thermal stiffness matrix for element two. That means conduction part plus convection part. Uh, conduction part matrix is four point six seven minus four point six seven minus four point six seven four point six seven plus convection part matrix zero 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 forty. Now come uh, now uh, now the uh, now addition of these two matrices we get four point six seven plus zero. That is four point six seven minus four point six seven plus zero. That is minus four point six seven minus four point six seven plus zero. That is minus four point six seven four point six seven plus forty. We get forty four point six seven. Those two three two three. Uh, next one is the global stiffness matrix is obtained as K equal to uh, thermal stiffness matrix for element one and element two. Uh, the given problem having three nodes, so the global stiffness matrix size is three by three. That means three rows and three columns. One, two, three. One, two, three. You can fill this. Uh, uh, you can fill these values by using stiffness matrix for element one. That is one four point six seven minus four point six seven minus four point six seven four point six seven plus. Second one is uh, this combined combined thermal stiffness matrix for element two. That is four point six seven minus four point six seven minus four point six seven forty four point six seven. Notes two three two three. Uh, by using this. Two stiffness matrix. You can fill this matrix. That is four point six seven minus four point six seven zero minus four point six seven nine point three four minus four point six seven zero minus four point six seven forty four point six seven. Next step is write the finite element equation. That is K into T equal to F. K means thermal global thermal stiffness matrix. T T the Temperature vector F is the nodal displacements. Now substitute the matrices here. Uh, this is the thermal stiffness matrix. This is the temperatures T1, T2, T3. Nodal forces F1, F2, F3. Now subst. Now apply the boundary condition. We know the uh, we know T1 value that is 301 Kelvin. F1, F2 equals zero because there is no heat flow at node one and node two. Uh, we know the formula for nodal force that is F equal F, F equal QA. Uh, in, at node one, there is 
there is uh, no heat flow that means q equal 0 uh, at node 2 also q is not given so you can take 0 that means f1 equal 0 f2 equal to 0 f3 equal to uh, f3 means that the convection part we know the formula for convection part f3 equal to h a t infinity h means 40 watt per meter square kelvin a means 1 meter square t infinity means 258 kelvin that means 10320 watts uh, hence the matrix equation 1 becomes now substitute these values in this uh, equation 1 we get this the thermal stiffness matrix with the temperature vector that is t1 301 t2 t3 equal to f10 f20 uh, f3 is 10320 watts now from the above matrix we can form the simultaneous equation such as uh, see this figure uh, see this equation 4.67 into 301 minus 4.67 t2 plus 0 into t3 equal to 0 this is the first equation second equation is minus 4.67 into 301 plus 9.34 into t2 minus 4.67 into t3 equal to 0 this is the second equation third equation is 0 into 301 minus 4.67 into t2 plus 44.67 into t3 equal to 10,000 320 uh, see here this is the equation 1 this is the equation 2 this is the equation 3 uh, now solving this equation number 2 and equation number 3 we get uh, t2 equal to 280.68 kelvin T3 equal to 260.37 Kelvin. Uh, uh, now, subtracting this 273, 273 Kelvin, we get uh, 7.68 degree centigrade. T3 is minus 12.63 degree centigrade. The nodal temperatures are T1 equal to 28 degrees, T2 equal to 7.68 degree centigrade. T3 equal to minus 12.63 degree centigrade. Second question is uh, first question is determine the steady state temperature distribution within the within wall and also heat flux. We know the formula for heat flux Q equal to Q equal to K into dt by dx. Q means heat flux through the wall. Uh, K means thermal conductivity that is 0 0.7 watt per meet, watt per meter Kelvin into dt means uh, temperature difference that means uh, first temperature and third temperature that means this is the T1 this is the T2 this is the T3 T3 minus T1 T3 means uh, T1 uh, that means uh, T1 minus T3 uh, 28 degree centigrade minus of minus 12.63 by dx is uh, wall wall thickness 0 0.3 meters so now simplify this term we get 94.8 watt per meter I hope this is very clear to everyone. Uh, if you want more videos, you can go through the playlist of finite element methods. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates.